Hello fans Boston Celtics, my name is Fabiano all are welcome, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss Celtics first-hand news and leave your like to strengthen the channel. During the summer of 2019, the Boston Celtics underwent significant changes. Kyrie Irving left for the Brooklyn Nets, leading to the arrival of Kemba Walker from the Charlotte Hornets as his replacement. Additionally, Al Horford's departure to the Philadelphia 76ers was a costly loss for the team. Horford had been instrumental in the Celtics' success, contributing to their Eastern Conference Finals appearances in 2017 and 2018. To address the void left by Horford, the Celtics signed Eanes Cantor, but his defensive limitations and the team's lack of rim protection were evident during their Eastern Conference Finals defeat. Later, Cantor was traded to the Portland Trail Blazers as part of a three-team deal, resulting in the Celtics giving up the number 30 overall pick in the 2020 draft, which became Desmond Bain. Bain has shown impressive progress in his young career with the Memphis Grizzlies, averaging 16.1 points per game while shooting efficiently from the field and beyond the arc. His performance earned him a significant contract extension. Leave your like on this video to keep up to date with everything that happens at Celtics thanks. Continuing. In hindsight, retaining Horford could have kept the Celtics from making the Cantor trade and potentially having Bain as a valuable talent alongside Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown in their quest for an NBA championship. Put your opinion in the comments as it is very important for Celtics I update you at any time with the latest news from Celtics. Help the channel become a member.